Good morning, and how are you? I am absolutely fabulous this morning. Yes, I am. Let's get our day started. Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? I am great, I'm great, I'm great, and how are you? I'm great. I'm great, I'm great, and how are you? I'm great, I'm great, I'm great, and how are you? Hey, I hope you're having a wonderful morning. Yes, and I'm so glad to see you. Yes, I am. I'm always thrilled to see you. Yes. Okay, well, we're going to pick it up, and we are going to start it. Yay, we're going to start it. Yes. So let's start off with, I have um, decided that we are not going to do all of the alphabets. And my reason for not doing all of the alphabets, number one, is because you know them. We're working on our songs, but the alphabets, you you, you, you have them down, okay? Uh, and before it's over, we're going to have these sounds down, too. Okay, I just picked up these, and I'll tell you why in a minute. You, uh, umbrella. Let me hear you say that. You, uh, umbrella. Very good. E, e, elephant. Let me hear you say it. E, e, elephant. Very good. Let's go. O, ah, octopus. Yes. O, let's go. I, e. Eagle, yes. A, I mean, A, A, Apple, yes. You know why I chose to do those five? Because we are going to continue talking about the vowels, and those five that I just did you were the vowels. Yes, they were. They were the vowels. And uh, so we're going to continue our discussion on the vowels. You remember I showed you uh, the vowels the other day, and I told you the vowels were. A, E, I, O, and U. But we just went over those sounds. A, A, E, E, I, Iglo. I mean, I, E, O, A, U, A. Yes. Those, those, that, those were the long and the sharp vowels, and those are the sounds that they make. Let's try one more time. <laughs> you remember what I told you um, about long and short vowels? You remember I told you that the A is going to say A, the E is going to say E, the I is going to say I, and the O is going to say O, and you, the U is going to say U. And you can hear those words as you learn to speak. You know, we talked about some words that began with the letter A. We said apple. But when you say apple, what's what sound? What A sound do you hear? A, A. But when I say acorn, what do you hear? A. See the difference? A, A. Okay, we'll go with E. What if I, if I said the word eats? What do you hear? You hear the E. But if I say E, eh, like an elephant, what do you hear? The E eh sound. That's the short sound. And you remember I told you we had a little song that went around along with it. So the vowels are the alphabets. I have to get to tune this to the tune of bingo. So I. I have it, and then I start doing it with you, and I'm like, oh, my God, what happened to it? There, there are some vowels of alphabets, and I know all them by name. Oh, A-E-I-O-U, 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 and those are the vowels. There are some vowels, and, I'm, and I know them, and I know them, and I know all the names. A E I O U, A E I O U, A E I O U, and I know all those names. 
So we are, we're going to know the names, even though I kind of stumbled a little bit before this is over, but we will know that those are the vowels and you'll also know the sounds. But you remember I told you that it was a way that you can use, it was a two different strategies that we were going to use to recognize the letter A, the long A and the short A. The long A says his name. So I want you to put your fingers up just like these, these two fingers. I want you to put them up. See how my fingers are? See how I clasp my thumb over these? So I want you to put yours up just like that. You remember? Okay, let's go. This finger here is what? It's long. It says his name. Like A, E, I, O, U. It says his name. This is finger is shorter. And they say like A, E, E, and what? A. Uh. So those are your short ones. So you have long and short vowels. The vowels, the vowels make two sounds, the long and the short. The long and then the short. And if you look at the two fingers, see? My finger here is longer. This one is short. And that's like on all of our fingers, it's like that. So when you get ready, somebody start talking about vowels, immediately put these fingers up. And if they ask you why, what are you going to say? Because they make two sounds. Yes, they do. What sounds do they make? The long, because this finger is long, and the short, because this finger is short. So it makes two sounds, the long and the short sounds. Okay. We well, just to go back again. I want I, I, this is important that you know these. You have a, a, apple, e, e, elephant, i, e, idiot, o, a, octopus, u, a, umbrella, and then you go here to to the long a, 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 acorn. E, E, eagle. I, I, ice cream. O, O, oval. U, U, unicorn. You see how you hear those names when I say they say their name? That's because they're loud. They are the, they are the long vowels. Okay, well, we went over that and we named a few things that began with the letter, with the uh, short A. And just to show you some of those, we had attic, a, a, attic. We had arrow, a, a, arrow, a. You have action, a, shun. You have alligator, a, alligator. You have x, a. You have acrobat, a. You have avocado, a. You have actor, a. You have apple, a. And you have astronaut, a. But then we also have other long ones with some words that you, you, you need to know. Like ape, a. Angel, a. Aim, a. Acorn, uh, a. You have eight, eight, a. Apricot, a. First aid, a, aid. Apron, A, and you have the month of the year, April, A. You hear the A in those words. So we have long and we have short vowels. And we have words that are long with long vowels and with little short vowels. And we've decided which one we will use it with long and a short A. A, A, apple. A, A, eight. A, A, I mean, A, A, apple. A, A, eight. Okay? So those are, these are the two that we are doing this week. The long and the short vowel. And before it's over with today, you would know those. Now, we usually do some things in circle time that you know, you know the days of the week. So let's quickly say the days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday. Yeah, I got them all mixed up. I had them in order for you. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. There's 
and then the Saturday. Those are the days of the week. You know those. We go over those all the time. You know your colors. You know, if I asked you to size something and it looked like this, what would you tell me? That is what? Yellow. What color is that? Red. What color is this? Blue. What color is this? Orange. What color is this? Purple. What color is this? Green. So you know those. You know those already. So let's continue on. Today I am going to tell you a story about Pete the Cat. Pete the Cat and the Bad Banana. Hmm. A bad banana? I don't know. What do you think they're talking about? And they say, Pete the Cat and the Bad Banana. Yes, the banana could be rotten. Yes, absolutely. And how do you know if they're rotten? Because they began to turn brown. And Pete probably got a hold to one of those browns. But they say Pete was bananas about bananas. That means that he loved bananas. See, with me, I am Dr. Pepper. Mm. I love my Dr. Pepper. But Pete was like that. And one day, he got home from school hungry. Oh, he was like, oh, I'm so hungry. I can't wait to mom fix the dinner. I'm so hungry. So he runs to the kitchen table and he grabs a banana and he peels it and he takes it. And he's like, oh, ew, ew, ew. So he gets the paper towel and he began to wipe his mouth off because he was like, oh, this is not good. Yeah, so the Pete, that was the bad banana. So Pete, his mom tried to get him to eat bananas. You know, that was just one bad one. They all not like that. But Pete was like, mm -mm, nope, no more bananas. So he chose another fruit. Let's do the guessing game. What fruit do you think he chose? No. Apple? No. Because he said Pete got up every morning and put bananas on his cereal. He even made peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Peanut butter and banana. He did. He made peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Everything he had, he had a banana on. But now, after he ate that bad one, he was like, nope. Let me, do, let me see you do this. Nope. Nope. He didn't want any more bananas. So his mom said, you have to have a fruit for breakfast. So what fruit would you like to have? And he looked at all of the fruit on the table. And she had apples and she had oranges and she had a peach. And she went to the refrigerator and she bought out a bowl of cherries and some grapes. What do you think he chose to eat? No, not at all. The cherries? Mm. The grapes, maybe, but it was an orange. Yes, the orange now had become Pete's favorite fruit. No more bananas, but yes, bring the oranges on. And his favorite became the orange. So one bad experience, when they say one bad apple can spoil the whole bunch, or in this case, one bad banana just took Pete out. He didn't want it anymore. But that was okay, because he has many more to choose from. So that was the little story I was going to tell you. Well, we also did the other day. I would introduce you to a family. Who can tell me the family that I introduced you to? Their last name was what? Yes, At. It was At. It was the At family. And I read that out because we only talk about at the short A sound. At. So it's the at family. Remember, I told you you can have two different strategies. Well, you can use the strategy where you uh, use the finger long and short, or you can see the dots that I have here and sound a word out. Let's sound this word out. At. At. And what is that word? At. 
But this way, what I want you to just start at do the, I want you to learn how to see it when you say it. At, and the word is what? At. Now let's say it, and this time we're going to kind of will it out. At, at. Yes, just like that when I say will it out. Because that's the way a will sound. You know, that will. At, at. Very good. You remember I told you the same family have different people in the family. So if I take off, if I added a, the letter F to at, what word would I get? Let's say it. At, at, fat, fat. Now let's wheel it up for at, fat. Very good. Let's do this. I'll take the F out and put a C in front of that AT. What do I have? The sound. C at cat. Now let's wail it out. C at cat. Very good. If I change that C out and put a B in front of it, what word would that become? The sound. B at Bat. Yes, let's well it out. But, but, bat. Yes, bat. If I change the B out and put an H in front of it, what would that word become? At, hat. Yes, hat. If I take the H off and put an M in front of it, who can tell me without me showing it? You are too smart. Let's sound it. M at mat. Now let's wail it out. M at mat. Very good. If I take the M off and put a P in front of it, what do I have? P at pat. Let's wail it out. Pat pat. Very good. If I take the P off and put the R in front of it, what do I have? R at rat. Let's wheel it up. R at gear. Let's wheel it out again. R at rat. But I also told you if they all had, had the same last letters, they would, it would also what kind of word? Rhyming words. So if I threw out the word hat, and I said, give me a word that rhymes with hat. That means you have to give me something with the same A sound. One of those words that we just went over. What was it? Yes, at. And give me one that rhymes with at. What would it be? Fat, yes, a rat. If I have the word rat, what, would, what word would rhyme with that? Cat, fat, at, rat, sat, mat. All of those, they rhyme. Let's see them and let's see how they rhyme. Let's say them all together. Rat, at, hat, pat, mat, bat, cat, and fat. They rhyme. Mat, hat, bat, cat, oh, cat, 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 let's tap, 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 at, 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 rat, 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 tee, tee. See how they rhymes? We can make a little rhyme. We can do whatever. Whatever you want to do to help you memorize that, that's fine. Now, when I'm ready for you to spell these words, which is going to be pretty soon, this is the way I'm going to introduce them to you. I'm going to say the word, and I'm going to ask you, what is it? And you're going to tell me what I just said. Then I'm going to keep saying, what is it? Then you keep saying that word until I say, very good. Okay? You ready? Let's go. I want you to I'm going to say, spell it. And you're going to say, F-A-T. I'm going to say, very good. Ready? Just my turn. The word is fat. What is it fat? 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 Spell it. F-A-T. Very good. Just like that. You ready? The word is cat. What is it cat? 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 What is cat? Spell it. C-A-T. 
Very good, the word is back. What is it? What is it back? What is it back? What is it back? What is it back? Spell it, B-A-T. Very good, the word is Mac. What is it? Mac, what is it? Mac, what is it? Mac, what is Mac? Spell it, M-A-T. Very good, the word is Pat. What is it? Pat, what is it? Pat, what is it? Pat, what is Pat? Spell it, P-A-T. Very good, the word is hat. What is it? Hat, what is it? Hat, what is it? Hat, what is it? Hat, spell it H A T. Very good, very good. That's when we start our spelling. That's the way I'm going to teach you to spell. Because once you get it, you're going to be like, oh, A T. Very good, the word is back. What is it? Many of those beginning sounds. Only thing that changes in those words in the ad family. Meet the ad family. <coughs> the ad family. Bat, mat, sack, hat, rat, all of them. They are all what kind of word? Rhyming words. And what family do they come from? The ad family. Very good. Okay. That was the short A. You remember I told you I was going to do the long A sound? Basically the same way. I am going to, this time, all of these words, the last name have changed. It's not A-T anymore. It is A-Y. A-Y says A. What does A-Y say? A. What does A-T say? At. A-Y say A. A-T says at. A-Y says A. Good. A-T says at. So, you have the at family. Now today, let's meet the AY family. Two different families that we are going to learn. Yes, we did the AT. Now we're doing the AY. All that's going to change is going to be the beginning sound. The AY still stays there. And the AY says what? A. What does the AY say? A. Again, what does the AY say? A. What does the AT say? At. So we are doing A. A, A, what does it say? A, 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 what does it say? A, it says A, A, Y says A. But if I take the A, Y and I put a P in front of it, the P makes what sound? So let's sound, you remember I told you two different ones? And what I did with the other ones is that I put a dot underneath that so we can sound. Oh, hold on one second. Sorry about that. So we can sound out every letter and then we are going to wail it out. So let's put a dot under each one of these before I begin. That way I don't have to stop and do it. Because you can use your finger, long A, short A. You can do that, but I want you to sound them out as well. And you put your finger on them on each one of the dots and you sound out each letter in the word. And what does the A-Y say? A. What does A-T say? At. What family are we meeting today? A-Y. What family are we meeting today? A-Y. Good. And A-Y says A. A-T says at, at. Give me a word that rhymes with rat. Yes, at. Give me another one that rhymes with at, bat. Good. Give me one that rhymes with bat, hat. Very good. If they come from the same family, they are going to rhyme because they have the same last name. The same last name. So they rhyme. Okay? So let's begin. And I, what did you notice that was different on each one of these cards? What did I do with that beginning sound or that as sound? The beginning sound, not the as sound. Let me do this. What did I do with each beginning sound? I put it in red because I wanted you to know that's the beginning sound. That's that initial sound that you need to know. The beginning sound. Okay. So let's take the word A. A-Y, 
A, and I put an H in front of it. What sound does H make? What sound? Put your hand over your mouth. Yes, it makes that sound. Let's go. Ready? We're going to sound it out. I'm going to put my finger on each dot. A, hey. Again. A, hey. Let's well it out. Hey. What is it? Hey. This is like a bell of hay that the horses eat, the cows eat. They eat hay. It's not like the hay that you're speaking. They, that one is H-E-Y. This one is H-A-Y. So it's a difference. This is like the bell of hay. H-A-Y. Okay, so let's sound again. A, hay. Yes, it is hay. If I take the H off and I decide to put the G in front of that, what sound does the letter G make? G. Yes, makes that G sound. So let's sound this out. G. A, gay. Very good. Let's well it out. G. A, gay. Yes. And if I take that G off and I put a J in front of it, what sound does J make? J. Yes, like in jellyfish. J. So if I put that J in front of that and I keep my same last name, the sound J. A, J, a J bird. Yes. The sound J. A, J. Let's well it out. J, A. Sound it out. J, A, J. Yes. Let's do the, if I take that J off and put the L in front of it, what sound does L make? Oh, and what sound does the A-Y make? A, so let's sound it. Oh, A, what is that? Oh, A, yes, lay, let's well it out. Oh, A, lay, again, oh, A, lay, very good. Y'all look too smart. Let's, if I take that L off and put a D in front of that and keep my last name, which says A, then that D in front of it says what? D, A, D, A, D, A, D, you ain't absolutely right. Let's sound D, A, D, well it out, D, A, very good. If I take the D off and put an M in front of it, what sound does the M make? Mmm, 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 good, but mmm. So we put that M in front of a Y that says A. So let's sound M, A, May. May I have some water? Yes, you may. Let's sound M, A. Let's well it out. M, A, May. Very good. If I take that M off and put a B in front of it, we know that that B is a what sound? B sound. So if I put that B in front of A, what do I have? B, A, Bay. Yes, like Bay City. Or out on the Bay. Yes, B, A. Let's round, let's swell it up. B, A, B, A. Well it out. Great job. And the last one, if I take the B off and put a P in front of it, in which we know that a P is like a look, like a little puff of that. Okay, if I put that P in front of that and I have A, what is that? Somebody tell me. Yes, pay. Oh, to get P A pay. Hey. Would you please pay me? Yes, pay me. Pay. Yes. P A. Let's well it out. P A pay. Again, let's well it out. P A. A, hey, very good, y'all, very good. So we had two families that we've met so far, the AY family and the AT family, yes. And the, when they have the same last names, that means that they what? They rhyme. Yes, they're rhyming word. What rhymes with hey, babe? What rhymes with babe? Hey. What rhymes with pay? Hey. What rhymes with May? Pay, pay, hey, very good. What rhymes with day? Day, pay, may, hey, say, very good. What rhymes with Jay? 
J pay may pay say very good for miles rounds we gay J pay may pay say very good those are rhyming words yes so we met the A family A Y family and the A T family guys y'all are so good and I'm gonna put these on the word wall so we may play some games during the week and I'll say somebody go find me the word at and let me see if you can find that word. But if these go on the word wall, so they'll be posted for you to see these words. Turn it up, got it upside down. So you know those words. Real quickly, let's do a uh, review on greater and less. Which number is greater? Which one is least? From great, least and greater. Great, greatest and least. Okay. I have a nine and I have a five. Which one is biggest? The nine or the five? The nine. And if you didn't know that, what do all you have to do is go up, count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That had nine dots. This one had one, two, three, four, five. That one only had five. So easy peasy. Which one is least would be the five. Which one is greater would be the nine. So least greatest. Let's do one more. If I had the number six and the number, um, let me see if I can get you. And the number eight, which one is greater? The six or the eight? The eight. And how would you know that? You go back and you count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exactly. If you don't know, go back and count the dots. They could count the dots. If this, I have more dots here than I do here, that means that this one is greater and this one is least. This is less. Yes. So eight is bigger than six. Yes, it is. Okay, guys, y'all are so good. Y'all are so good. Remember, the, we talked the other day and I gave you some words and I told you rhyming words, right? Rhyming words. What is, what is, what does, uh, not rhyming words. Um, um, syllables. Oh my God, I went brain dead, didn't it? Syllables. I'm just going to throw out a, a couple of them. I don't even know what I'm picking out. So I'm just going to pick up some pictures and I'm going to show you and I'm going to ask you. You remember to tell me syllables. Syllables is what? How many beats are in a word? Syllables are what? How many beats are in a word? What is it? How many beats are in a word? What is syllables? How many beats are in the word? Very good. So let's look at the word. I'm going to show you a picture. And you remember we did one, two, three, thigh. You go head, shoulder, waist, thigh. Okay? So let's see. And then you tell me one, two, three, four. Okay? The word, the picture is a hen. Hen. How many? Hen. One. I only have to tap my head one time. One. The word is train. Train. How many? One. The word is frog. Frog. One. The word is dog. Dog. One. The word is turtle. 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 How I many? Two. Very good. The word is zebra. Let's do it. Zebra. How I many? Two. Very good. The word is water. Water. How I many? Two. Very good. Let me see if I have one. Let's do this. The, the, look at this picture. This is a picture of a bicycle. Okay, you ready? Bicycle. How I many? Three. Very good. So guys, you've done an excellent job today. We've done our least greatest. We've done uh, syllables. We've done rhyming family. We've done long and short vowel. We have done all of that. I told you the story. We did days of the weeks. Man, I know y'all are tired. You ready for something fun? Okay, let's do something fun. Fun, fun. Let me take these off and see if you remember these. We're going to do it to remember bubblegum, bubblegum. 
Let's do bubble gum, bubble gum a different way. Let me show you my, the bubble gum machine. See the bubble gum machine? This is the bubble gum machine. And I have a screen thing on there, y'all, so that's why it does that. This is the bubble gum machine. So if I say bubble gum, bubble gum in a dish, what what word is the opposite of bar, a boy? What would it be the opposite of boy? Girl. Very good. Bubble gum, bubble gum in a dish. What word is the opposite of up? Yes, down. Very good. Bubble gum, bubble gum in the dish. What word is the opposite of cold? What would it be? Hot. Very good. Very good. Bubble gum, bubble gum in the dish. And then I can ask you something with that. Bubble gum, bubble gum in the dish. What color and shape is this? Purple. And what shape? Star. So I'll put that in the dish. Bubble gum, bubble gum in the dish. What color and shape is this? It's green. It's an oval. Bubble gum, bubble gum in the dish. What color and shape is this? It's a star. It's red. Yes. Bubble gum, bubble gum in the dish. What color and shape is this? It's yellow. And it's a star. Goes in the bubble gum machine. Well, that is it. Well, guys, you've done an awesome job today. Give your brain a big kiss. Mm -hmm. Ah, give it another big kiss. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's how good you were today. And I am super, super proud. Super, super, super duper proud. I have the best kids in the whole wide world. And you are good. All right, bright ones. It's time to say goodbye. So long, so long, i see you tomorrow. I'm making up stuff, I don't even know. So long, so long, i see you tomorrow. Yes, kisses. Love, much love, and a big, big hug. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.